everyone and welcome uh, in this video, which is an update on the game I'm working on, which is a 2D point and click adventure game. And uh, this is pathfinding that I finally finished implementing. So as you can see here, we have a picture, which is a 2D picture. It's not like a 3D scene. This is not using Unity's built-in thing, NavMesh, because NavMesh only works in 3D. This is 100% 2D and this is 100% homemade. I'm not using any assets for this. So what's going on here? As you can see, if there's a start point, there's an end point. And if I move the start point, you see this purple line changes. This purple line is the shortest path. And so it is built, it is built using an A star algorithm through a graph. And you see here, those yellow lines are the graph uh, for the pathfinding. And what those points are, are all the concave vertices of my navigation shape. And uh, the thing is, the shortest path from one point to another on a shape will always go through a bunch of uh, concave vertices, starting from the start and ending with the destination. Of course, if there's a straight line, we don't need to go through any of those vertices, but if there is, it is always going to snap to those and that's always going to be exactly the shortest path. So um, yeah, let me show you a little bit the tool I made that allows me to create navigation shapes. If I stop this here, um, I have here a shape creator and I can create shapes, just create nodes and it's going to actually uh, define a bunch of vertices that are going to be saved in something I called an animation uh, navigation space, which itself is made of navigation shapes. So if I say, for example, I create an island that is on the other side here, and I press play again. Now there is no way to go from the start point to at the end point if they're not on the same animation uh, navigation shape. But if I go with the start point here and I go on that shape, by the way, you don't see any yellow dots here or yellow lines because this shape is perfectly convex. So if a shape is convex, well, there is just always going to be a direct line from any point to an, any other point inside that shape. That's why you're not seeing any of this. But if I now added some more nodes and created some more geometry, then you would see that kind of thing. Anyways, this is it. Hope you liked it and see you next time for another update.